Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to discuss toxic, abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to read from my third book, Healing Parables, Chapter 16. Entitled, let me make sure I have the title correct. Entitled, Magnetic Seduction. Now, I'm going to read this really quickly. Magnets draw. They have a pull. They can hold something with the right properties for extended lengths of time. A magnetic person is one with a very strong and powerful attraction. Once you connect, it can be very difficult to disconnect. People like this can be pleasant and quite charming, which is why we must be cautious. There is oftentimes a spirit of seduction working along with such a person if there is little to no connection with God. There is such a strong draw that when one is ready to break that bond, it is not quite as easy as it was forming one. Even when they mistreat you, you find yourself under a hold that you can't understand. Your mind tells you, I don't know what the issue is. I should have been gone. What is my problem? Abusive men and women tend to have that spirit of seduction on them as well. We wonder why their companions just don't leave at the first sign of danger. There is a hold, and it is a spiritual one. Sometimes you have to get serious prayer to break away. You may even have to be delivered. Notice how easy it is to connect. To connect something to a very strong magnet. Now, try pulling them apart. I'm going to stop there. Now we're going to finish with Pat's two cents. But sometimes we don't realize just how magnetic how strong a hold a relationship can have on us everything and our reason and our intelligence and in our calculations just is so diametrically opposed to why we stay in these sickening relationships in these dangerous relationships where we put ourselves in danger just staying in it i know it's difficult Sometimes we as individuals don't understand why we allow ourselves to be victimized. But guess what? God knows. You need to get prayer. You need to get reinforcements. You don't need to play around with it because it is like playing with a live grenade. Sooner or later, it will explode. And you just may have cost yourself your own life that is my word that is from my book healing parables god bless you and as the bible says selah which means think on these things